having a good day. Uh, last Friday I was driving around and I decided I would uh, go check out Kohl's. They were having a sale on sandals and I love their sandals there so much. And I am so picky about my sandals because they have to be comfortable but I like a dark pair and a light pair and I want them to be feminine uh, but I want them to be practical and comfortable, but I don't want them to be, you know, too boring. So I went there. I was only going to spend a few minutes there, and I ended up spending about three hours there, just kind of wandering the store, me and my camera. But I had such a good time, and I got to see so many things uh, in makeup, and, you know, I spent a lot of time at the thrift stores, and probably this is the first time that I actually went into a store and bought new clothing. <laughs> I get so many of you that write me about my hair and this is kind of a weird thing for me to talk about today because I'm getting my hair done this week so it's not at its best it's not even close to being its best but so many of you have asked me how I do my hair and I thought maybe I would just touch upon that today just a little bit. I take a multivitamin for my hair and I also use vitamin E oil in my hair every night. I do massage it into my scalp just a little bit on my fingertips and I will massage that into my scalp. Uh, I do wash my hair every day. Uh, maybe you probably shouldn't do that but I do it but I figure that it's okay for me because I am uh, massaging the oil into it every night and I have tried different oils I've tried argan oil and almond oil and all different kinds of oils in my hair coconut oil 
No, none of them. None of them work except the vitamin E oil. So that is my go-to oil for my hair. So, and I also, I can't use one shampoo every day. I have to kind of uh, mix up uh, shampoos. So actually now I am using the Puridor and uh, Head and Shoulders shampoo. So I kind of alternate those uh, uh, a hair growth, an argan oil hair growth shampoo and just uh, the drugstore Head and Shoulders shampoo. It's funny, I have two hairdos. <laughs> I wear my hair up or I wear my hair down <laughs> and that's about it. Uh, I don't have any uh, fancy hair tools. Uh, I don't even use a heat protectant. I mean I don't I don't do I don't do an anti-frizz. I just basically don't do anything with about my hair. About once every two months I do get a full foil or sometimes a partial foil uh, because I like my hair lighter as I have grown older. I think uh, lightening my hair has made me look a little bit younger but I do naturally have very dark hair but uh, every time I've tried to let my dark hair grow out I felt extremely uncomfortable so when I wear my hair up um, I put it up wet um, not dripping wet but but wet and I'll show it in the video but the most important thing for me is to get the shape correct so if my hair is put up correctly, it's going to uh, flatter uh, my face shape. Uh, and I can't do that if my hair is dry. It won't ever turn out right. I could do that when I was younger, but I can't do that now. And as far as when I wear my hair down, I just uh, air dry it and then I curl it. I, I, do, I use a volumizer in my hair uh, when it is almost dry. And then I will take a wave uh, curling uh, I don't curl every bit of it. Uh, I just will do sort of a spot curl because my hair is naturally wavy. You know, it's not that I think my hair is my weakest link, but I've never given it a whole lot of thought and I've never put a, a lot of energy into my hair. But I have to say that since I have grown older, my favorite way of wearing my hair is sort of the Katherine Hepburn type uh, updo that's kind of messy and um, unpredictable and I that's how I sort of feel about myself <laughs> that I'm kind of messy and unpredictable so I do love that when my hair is a little bit wet and then I can just pin it up and um, have the little sweeps of hair come down and and I feel like that sort of represents who I am and so I feel very comfortable when I wear my hair like that and I think that's probably you know we probably all feel that way about our hair that our hair makes a statement about who we are and and how we want other people to look at us it's sort of a way of expressing this is my personality and I know um, the last few weeks people have been asking me, you know, something's different. What What's going on? And I think, you know, I had about two inches cut off my hair. Um, and I think that it does make a difference when your hair is, for me, when my hair is too long. Uh, it, it doesn't really work out too well for me. And I'm thinking that this is too long also. That I think I've gotten to the point where I'm never going to be able to wear short hair because I have a very large face and very large features. But I think I can get away with my hair just coming to the end of my neck and I think that would be kind of a nice look for me. Just you and I And everything is so, thing is so So call me out, call me out, baby
asked me how my dating is going, and I love you so much for that. Thank you for asking me about that. Um, I had a really nice date lined up for Saturday, and I had written him, and uh, he had written me, and we talked on the phone, and uh, everything looked like it was a, a go, and uh, then he called me on Thursday night, and he had been drinking, and I couldn't understand anything he said, so I had to cancel our date. So that was that, you know, I was sad, you know, I felt really bad about it. But, you know, I was married to uh, two men that drank, well, I mean, not at the same time, <laughs> both my husbands drank. Um, but they weren't they weren't abusive, um, but they drank, and um, I really don't want to go down that road again. So, um, so I move forward and uh, continue my quest of of perhaps uh, meeting someone special. There is nothing like going out and shopping for white jeans <laughs> that will make me get in shape and go on a diet and be enthused about it. And I did that Friday when I was at Kohl's. I found the perfect pair of white jeans. But I didn't like the way that I looked in them. And I, you know, I picked up 17 extra pounds when I quit smoking. So, um, I bought the white jeans even though they didn't look that great on me because they are such an inspiration and remind me every day why I want to stay on my uh, new way of eating. And my new way of eating is a lot of salads and a lot, lot of raw vegetables and getting twice the amount of exercise that I was getting before. When so. I'm at a good healthy weight, when I'm at my 128, I feel so good about myself. And I'm more apt to go to that party or go uh, to that event and... Um, it just helps me get out the door when I feel good about myself. So this extra weight, I think, has really held me back uh, from me feeling my best. And as we get older, I think it's much harder, you know, to watch what we eat. And, you know, we eat the same, but uh, we don't lose weight as quickly. So <laughs> thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I hope you have a wonderful brand new week, and you do a lot of wonderful things. And when you're done with all those wonderful things, I hope you come back and see me, okay? <laughs> okay. Nobody's breaking your spirit. You're looking so fine. Nobody's breaking your, breaking your. You're keeping up with steps I take. So we just dance alone. Yeah, we dance like no one's watching. So call me out, call me out, baby.